<laughs> what is up guys my name is animate here and welcome back to a new what if deku was the batman in this uh, now i'm gonna be starting this off as i don't remember what i start off at i remember half of it that is uku mad nezu all might and aizawa to ask nezu that if he can have to um two heroes protecting Mama Yayu Rosu's house so to protect his little sister but when that being said let's get into this new part of what if Deku was the Batman but in this I hope you like share comment correct my channel and love you all and please go check out Daz Games Daz Games is a good youtuber he got over 7.1 million subscribers or seven point something i do not know what right now but please go check his channel out he's awesome i love him he's he's a good youtuber he's a good youtuber he does not do what ifs at all but he do watch people's reactions like re he reacts he reacts to people's channels which is not anime is don't have anime in general but chat Go, I'm shouting out his channel because he's my favorite YouTuber. And go check out Anime King, Anime King 2, and Anime King 3. Without that being said, go check out The Crown Fiend because he's my second favorite or my third favorite of all. And that is it. Hope you like, share, and subscribe. Go to my channel and enjoy the video. <laughs> Alright, enjoy. Izuku Madoya, the richest man on the planet Earth. Who own millions, billions of Madoya household? But Izuku now enters you A. The intrigue exams start in another month. Izuku is training, but called Momo Yayurozu to tell her he will be training more, so he will not be in his classmates in school for that long. This one he talked to John. John, make me a lot of bat suit. Make me a darker bat suit with a mask above it to cover up my face, like my mouth. So they can really call me the Dark Knight. Yes, Master Isuku. All right. After that, not Deku. What they say for a month, but. Izuku now comes out wearing his back outfit. Bye now, Joan. <laughs> Izuku smiles. Bye, sir. Be careful. You too. Izuku went out, but something bad will happen to Izuku's butler. We don't find out. Izuku now went out to the entry exam, selling Momo. Hi, Momo, Izuku said with a smile. Izuku, why are you wearing that? Well, this is my bat outfit, and I am uh, the Batman. <laughs> Izuku smiles, but no one can see his smile because he has a mask covering up his face, making sure he is the real Dark Knight. Momo looks at Izuku again. Are you kidding me? You are the Batman. The Batman don't show his true identity. Well, please don't tell no one. But I, Izuku Midoriya, is Batman. He said, what a straight face. That's not even that serious. And he grinned. Bye, Momo. Yeah, yeah, Rosu. Izuku went inside the Renaissance pastel with fine colors. Wherever. Everyone in the written exam saw Izuku, and some people were cherishing Izuku because some people loved Izuku because of being badass. Izuku looked around, and there now the robot, the heroes versus robots exam. But Izuku was muttering to himself, knowing that he's trying to think of a plan to destroy the robots by ease, since he does not have a powerful does not have a corp at all. This one either Tenya or the blue haired kid walks up to Izuku. Hey, shut up, you're running. 
But no one can see Zuko's face but his eye holes. His eyes, they can only see it. And that was unhero like for you, Principal Nezu. I mean, Principal Prince Present Mike. You didn't tell us about the third, the zero. I was straight getting to that. This one and Zuko talked before the President Mike spoke. First of all, shut your mouth, Izuku said with a straight face, scaring everyone in the, in the face. He's staring at Ida. And second of all, do not diss President Mike. He was getting to that until you interrupt. And third of all, don't tell me what to not do. Do you know who you're speaking to, boy? I am Batman. And I will break every bone in your body. And the next thing. If I hear you interrupting a hero again, I will break every last bone in your body. I am a vigilante, not a hero. I break bones, not keep them alive, as well as that. So you better watch your mouth, boy, before you get a lot of pain. Well, no. Batman, we don't have to get into that. Now would we? President Mike said with a laugh. No, sir. I apologize for my discussion. But he interrupted you. It's okay now. Please let me continue. The zero pointer is a big. You don't have to defeat it or you can just run away. The third pointer is giving you three points. The zero the first point is the first point of zero. In the second point of the robot. Alright, zero. The third, and the second, and first robot as well. Now, heroes, are you ready? The gate opens. But before the gate almost opened, Izuku jumped the gate with his batarangs. Or, you can call it, um, uh, what is it called? A, a grappler. A grappler. He flew in the air using his bat wings or something like that, and now destroying robots. Now the gate opens, everyone rushed in to destroy robots after robots. Izuku was saving people and helping out with other injuries that the people have. But Izuku hears a loud thump. Izuku's points went up from 60 to 105. Izuku now defeating robots after robots by throwing explosion and batterings at their face, destroying it instantly. Izuku now hears a scream. Ah! A girl screamed out of nowhere. Her scream comes from the northeast. Izuku ran there, seeing the larger pointer, larger zero pointer, while everyone running away. He passed by. The blue haired kid, Tena Ida. Tena Ida looks at him and runs as well, using his cork speedy. Now Zuku looked at the girl. She had brown hair, two pink glitch gl blush on her face. Zuku looked at the large robot, knowing that his batterings won't work this time. So he had to make up a plan and fast. So Zuku made up a plan really quickly. So he used something called his katanas. His kan katana 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 fuck katanas was unbreakable and have a lot of explosion things on it. If he swings, his katana explode and is unbreakable. Only someone with strong quirks can break that. Not not all might. all might as well can break this. Katanas. Zuko started throwing batarangs, exploding his arms and legs, but that didn't damage the robot. So Zuko pulled out his katanas. Now this is how it ends. This how the zero pointer dies. This one is Zuko ran up towards the pink haired girl, the girl that was on the ground under rubble. He picked rubble. Moving her, grabbing her by the shirt, and putting her on his back. Now, Izuku used something called boost. He jumps up in the air with rocket boots and went for a large slash at the face of the zero pointer. Boom. 
Izuku got flown back, so as this girl. Izuku caught the girl in midair, and grabbing her, and Yuahi crashed down to the ground. Everyone in the office watching below, seeing Izuku, Izuku Midoriya. Everyone in there knew about Izuku's heritage, about Izuku's parents. But one person by particular is an unknown hero who knew everything about Izuku. And something was up with that one. He had a smirk on his face, and his name was the Unknown. That's his actual name. Uh, his name, his parents' name, Unknown. <laughs> Fuck the weebs. Alright, Izuku now got up with a little bit of bruise on his clothing. Izuku looks down above at Chaco with Raka. Thank you, she says. No problem. Now, what hurts? My leg. My leg. I think it's fractured. Well then, let's get you to the quirk of the doctor. Izuku ran off to the the girl, the grand grand doctor, who held her and Izuku walked away. Time skip. A few weeks later, the entry exams that was now done. Why Izuku got accepted to UA, like usual. So as Momoya, Rozu, and Izumi Midoriya. Why Izuku walks in looking for Class 1A, but bumps into a pretty girl named as Midnight. Izuku was tall, like 7.6. 7. 7. He was tall. I mean tall. He was like tall, he's like Batman's tall, yeah, that, like that. He don't look like a normal high school student, if you ask me. But Izuku looked at Midnight. I apologize, Izuku. I apologize, Lady Midnight. She looked at Izuku, and Izuku was still wearing that bat outfit. Oh, who is this handsome man? She knew who he is, but not the name. She didn't know Izuku's name. Well then, would you want to rather come with me to 1A? To show, to show you who my true identity is. Or you want to stay and chat? What a beautiful lady you are. Izuku grabbed her cheeks and not like that, her face, and pulled it up closer. You look like a cat. That mound, she says with a smile. But she can't see that. Izuku still was hiding on that black mask covering up his mouth. But Izuku was smiling. But Midnight had a large blush on her face and smacked his hand away. Well, well, leave me alone. I will try to come with you. Oh, you a try? She said, he said. And she got tired of waiting, so she told him. The one A class woman was on the left door. There, she pointed. And Zuko looked over to see the one A classroom. Thank you, Midnight. Hope I see you later, Lady Midnight. Izuku said with a wink. She she seen that and blushed slightly. Izuku went in and seen Aizawa standing there. All right, class. We have our last student, and he's the Batman. What? You have a villain vigilante here? A boy says. And this boy named Mineta. The, the vigilante? He says. I can't do Mineta's accent. He's a vigilante, Mineta says. Shut up, everyone. Quiet down. Hello, everyone. I'm Batman. But... You can so-called call me Batman, if you wish. You know about the Batman who fights with crime in the dark. People call me the Dark Knight. Some call me Batman. And some call me even evil. But no one calls me something that's terrible. Do you want to hear a story? A boy who lost his parents? Aizawa, should I? Well then, it's up to you, my friend, Aizawa says. 
But as I got into his, his um bag, sleeping bag, and went to sleep. Well then, since Aizawa here didn't want to explain, let me explain. A boy named Izuku Midoriya had two parents and a sister. His sister got kidnapped by a man unknown. His mother and father got shot in the head by a man unknown. And that man was gone and not arrested at least. I've been trying to find that man because I, he took off his mask and pulled down his face mask that covers his hair. I am Izuku Midoriya. I am Batman. Cameras was everywhere. Izuku noticed that. And everyone in the world, in Japan, in America, in Australia, everyone in the whole world seen this boy. And listen up everyone in this world. The man who killed my father. You're dead meat, boy. I'm hunting you down no matter what's the cost. No matter how far it takes me. No matter how old I get. You will die. You want to commit murder? Follow me. Find by me. Hunt me down like I'm a bat. And try to attack. In the dark of night. Now. Everyone in this world will feel the wrath of Batman. You want to be a villain? Come on then. Fight me and I will break every bone in your body. Hero, let's good. Join me and you can help me out of defeating these villains. And you want to be either. You, wanna, you don't want to be nothing. Well then, I will find that heart and take it myself. I will protect every civilian, every life in in worlds. If I have to travel the world of death, if I have to risk my life of day dying for the evil that's inside everyone in here, if I have to defeat all villains, that's my I should do. Because I am Azuku Midoriya. The man that was... When I was talking about when Izuku was in uh, in the robots, villain heroes versus robots of XM, that man was named unknown. The only reason why he's named unknown, because that man killed Izuku's father. But the man was scared. Now he was scared shitless. The man was in the lounge, looking up for something. Damn it. I I can't fight him. He he beat up my friends. The man was stuttering. He was a fake hero. He's a nothing. The man was a hero and a villain, but he's neither. He's just evil. The man wiped his eyes and raised his eyebrows. Damn it. I need to get out of here, the man said, getting up and walking out, looking around, seeing no one out, bumping into Mount Lady, excuse me, lady, Mr. Mount Lady, Mr. Mrs. Mount Lady, oh, are you the new hero that we all, that we all know, yeah, what's your name, unknown, wait, your name is unknown, last name, Keith. Unknown Keith. Alright. It's a weird name, if you ask me. She laughed. Scratching the back of her neck. Yeah. My parents was a little bit drunk. But, I have to go now. I have to go protect this... Go to protect the civilians. She sa he said with a smile. By walking away. She was a little confused. But, the man unknown know what Izuku lives at now, and he will tarnish that man by killing someone he's precious to love. Hello, everyone. Now, since I did that, 
the camera shuts off, everyone in the world now watches their TV knowing that Izuku Midori is Batman. Izuku cannot go as a vigilante no more, but he is going to hunt down that man. Time skip. They did the exam of the gripping test of throwing balls, the throwing the um, ball and and speed race. Izuku had a a on everything. Izuku passed with flying colors, but Izuku in the speed race couldn't beat um Ida. Izuku in the throw ball race couldn't beat Ochaka or Explosion Boy, which is so-called um, Katsubako, or you can call him Kachan, for this. But, when the school was over, Izuku looked at Mama and winked, saying that he's thankful for protecting his sister. While she walks out and goes into her car, Izuku bumps and asks Midnight on a date. Hey Midnight, he says, I know I'm only the age of 17. But, would you rather right, come for a cup of coffee, he said. But first, I have to get a suit, because this would not help. If someone sees me in my bad outfit, it would be very weird, and someone will come after you. And I dare them to try it, he said. Well then, I will like that cup of coffee. She grabbed the Zuku's by his, like touching him on his chest plate. Izuku smiles. Didn't even want to say about your eyes. Your eyes is beautiful than the night sky. Your body shape is lovely. And you is lovely. In this, we will have Izuku X, like, um, Izuku X, um, what the fuck? Midnight. Which I, I don't know why I did this, but. <laughs> Go with the story line. I'm sorry. It's stupid. If you wanted me to change it, please tell me down in the comments. With that being said, let's get back into this video, okay? Alright. Izuku and Midnight went to Izuku's med gym. Boom. Izuku now looks at his mansion. At the top peak. In the second floor of Izuku's mansion. Actually, I'm gonna give them this. Izuku had a third floor. Where always Joan used to stay and read books to help out with his Tekamanaju quirks, to help out experience on batterings and helping out with his gear. Izuku looked scared, shocked, terrified, upset. Izuku ran in without no tomorrow. Izuku rushed up the third floor. John, John, where are you? He screamed. This one, a cough can be heard. <laughs> Master Medoya, I'm sorry. A man came up looking for you, and I told him I didn't know who you are. But he planted. <laughs> I'm sorry, Master Medoya. Joan, I blacked out. Now, Joan passed away. Tears fall out of Izuku's eyes. Joan, please, don't die. Don't die. You're the only family member I have instead of Izumi. Please don't die. You the helper. You helped me into my adventure of helping me become the Batman. Izuku took off his mask and tears fall directly out of his eyes. Please, Joan, don't Die, he said, crying. Joan was sickly directly to the hospital. They couldn't do anything. He was already dead. Izuku now looked angry with tears in his eyes. He made a speakerphone that was louder than present mic. Everyone, he said in, the, in Japan, I'm going to hunt you down. Unknown men, and I will kill you with no regret. I'm starting with your family first. Your villain family, <laughs> Izuku chuckled. They're dead. The heroes appeared in front of Izuku's house, 
seen the burnt buildings. Izuku now looked at them, putting on his mask and walking out. The police was beside him. Sir, what do you want us to do? Ready up, FBI agents, because I'm going on war. A war against the villains who killed them. First my mother and father, then Joan, then someone kidnapped my sister, then I saved her. Now they want to kill my friends. You hunt them down. FBI's, if you're listening, hunt them villains down and give them no remorse, Izuku said with tears in his eyes, flaring. This is when All Might appeared. Young Madoya, please, we cannot do this. We cannot kill. Shut up, All Might. Have you feel the burden of the pain of losing someone you loved? Have you feel the burden and the pain that your families, even Joan, died? Even the one that's been beside you for years now? Have you feel the burden and the pain now? Do you know me? You do not. Now get the hell out of my way, or I will fight you as well. Why, why, Midnight was just standing there. What about, sorry, Midnight, but that date we have have to be canceled for now, because I'm going on war. Izuku passed by All Might, rushing to his vehicle, while a lot of policemen, the Japan leader of Japan, was now radio in to Izuku, Izuku Midoriya. What do you want? I am the leader, the president of Japan. You can do what you wish. And give me one thing from you. What is it? You cannot be a vigilante no more. After this, do you understand? Izuku took off his mask and nodded his head. Yes, sir. I understand. But I have one question. If I become a hero in this world, in Japan, can I keep the same name in my suit and armor? As you wish, but make our deal as a reality. If you break that, you will get arrested for murder. Do you understand me, sir? Yes, sir. Izuku turned off the radio. And he readied on all heroes. All heroes. There were, all heroes have radios. Everyone, the heroes. I have word from the president that I can assassinate the man who did this. And if you get in my way, you will be dead what's with him. Izuku flew and draw faster than even a blink of the eye. Why every hero, the police, the FBI that Izuku holds was following him right behind. Police, he says. Yes, sir. Abandon this mission. Go back on your job. Let the FBI do what they have to do. Do you understand? I do not want you to die here. And not even at Gordon. I do not want Gordon to die. I do not want the commander to die. Evacuate, evacuate this mission, he said. Yes, master, they says. And... The man who he's talking to was Gordon. I will be using that man. Yeah, fuck, fuck. Jordan. I'm gonna shoot some fucking shit. Yep. Jake's. Jake's. Because I don't like to use people's character, the character that was in Batman. I will call him Jake for now. Sorry for calling him Gordon Ramsay. Oh, I'm stupid. Sorry for calling him Gordon. I love that name. Please keep up the good work of Batman. I apologize again. Let's get back into it. James, he says. And then he nodded. And then they went off. In Night of Dawn, these are what destroying villains after villains in a household. Where are you, unknown? Where are you hiding? You afraid of Batman? Are you? You should be. I'm the Dark Knight. And I'm not playing around. I'm mighty pissed that you killed someone I loved. How about I kill you instead? FBI's taking out villain after villain as well behind him. Look at that one. Look at that one. 
Take a right, take a left, Izuku says. Izuku kicks down the door and seeing the unknown person, holding a gun to his sister's head. I dare you to try. Izuku took one step. Pow! He killed his sister. Izuku fell to his knees. In rage, he ran up to Gordon. He ran up to the unknown man, choking the life out of him. You will see the death of night. You will see the dark night. This is it, you unknown bitch. You killed the man I will. You killed my family. Everyone I care for. Now, the villains you loved and loyal, they're dead as well. Now you will be. Izuku cracked this man's neck, breaking it. He's killed. A lot of FBI is blasting people left and right. Izuku fell to his knees. Now you have another one dead. Another family member dying. He was sad. He was tears drunk. Master, what's wrong? They looked. They know who they is. Izumi Midoriya. This one. Izuku's tears fall out of his eyes. He punched the ground over and over and over. Damn it. I lost another one, he said out loud, screaming. While more heroes appeared, what happened? I hear gunshot. In all might, Aizawa, Prince Bunezu, everyone looks at the terror above them. Seeing Izuku's red eyes. Seeing Izuku's tears fall out of his eyes. Seeing Izumi Modori dead, and seeing the man who did all this dead, <laughs> he was crying. He killed her. He killed her last one I loved. He killed my family. I don't have no one else. I'm a rich man, can't do anything to protect them. I. I I'm useless. I'm a nobody. Like everyone says, a bat cannot be the hero they can be. You cannot just be a hero to save anyone else's lives. But why? I couldn't save my sister or James. I couldn't say none of them. I, I can't do it no more. I lost my family. I lost everything. This is when the president of Japan appeared with a limousine. Izuku Midoriya, known as Batman, come forward. I'm sorry, sir. I dishonest your call. I can't do it no more. I can't become Batman. We need you now. We can't let you live like this. Your family is dead now, and I'm sad as well. I knew your father. Izuku heard that voice out of nowhere. Wait, who are you exactly? And how Izuku had tears in his eyes. Do you know anything about your father's brother? No. No, I don't, he said. Well then. My name is Nico. I mean, not Nico. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him Ken. Kinsey. Kinsey Midoriya. His eyes eyes wide. So why did you not help me? Why did you just sit there, becoming the president of fucking Japan, and let this family happen? Because I am the president, and I can't do a thing about this. I'm sorry, Hiku. No apologies, no exceptions. You let this happen to our family. But you are not the blame one. The man you can blame is the villain that's in front of us. I am sorry. I am sorry, Izuku cried out. This one, Izuku's uncle, hugged him tightly. I apologize, my son. I apologize for not being there to help you when you need. I knew you were a bad man because I knew the family of 
Midori is new, the Batman. I am sorry for this. My, I'm sorry. Izuku started hugging the man in front of him. <laughs> Izuku couldn't even have words out of his eyes. Tears fall. This morning, Izuku ordered the all FBI to evacuate the building and destroy and burn all the bodies that was here. And all might. Let me get into that wound of yours. Because you will need it. And this time, all might. Every hero that's up in here. You see any villains that's act of way. Break their bones. Destroy their evilness. They want to be pain in the ass. I'll show that pain. A villain like me. A vigilante. I am Batman. At least you don't have the same heart as the name Izuku Midoriya. Izuku is still holding on to his uncle. And looking at All Might. FBI, yes, my lord. Tend to All Might's wound, please. Yes, my lord. Come on, Master All Might. What? No, I can't go. I'm. I said go with him. Or you win another one in the chest. Izuku is not the way, the right way to threaten the number one hero of Japan. Izuku looked towards his sister that was still dead. Damn it. I was too stupid. I was too fractured. I couldn't, I couldn't just rush in. I didn't have the brains. Only had the rush of energy. The rush of death upon me. I didn't know this man would go so far to take my sister away from me. She should have known about me. I should have gave her who I am. Izuku cried. But this time, Izuku wiped tears away. I will start a family and make damn sure that I will protect them with all my heart. Make sure that I will become the hero they need. Make sure I will become the Japan of the heroes. Anyone wants to be villains, I will break their bones and see them to the hospital. I will make sure they know what a villain truly is. Uncle, keep doing what you do, Mr. Presidente. Izuku says, now this is the story of the Batman Begins. Yes. And I said it, and I quote, the Batman begins, because this is not over. I swear to, I swear people, some people like you, always thinking it's over when I say the Batman begins. No, I, I never say the Batman begins, or begin at all in my, nev never my stories. But, with that being said, hope you enjoy the Batman. So, I love you all, goodbye anime fans, and next thing, part three will come out shortly. But this time, I will not do, like, two videos every night because it will be so tiring and I will be sleepy every school day. I can't do every video at night. So I'm doing every video once a day, like, video today, video tomorrow, every night. That's how I go now. So I apologize for placing two videos every day. And still, I apologize for not doing what if Deku was the god of death, the dragon god of death, and what if Deku was abandoned. Part um, 7, I didn't want to do that no more, I hope y'all, I apologize, I hope y'all forgive me for that, but with that being said, love you all, goodbye, peace out anime fans, anime cheer out, I'm posting this video tomorrow, bye!